I thought the trailers for this were fun, but I was worried the film would be cringe and generic, but I'm happy to say I was wrong. And while it borrows heavily from the MCU in many areas, particularly the tone, that's not to its detriment. Yes, there's a lot of humor and wit, but it's never cringe. It's not always funny either, as it doesn't all land. It's basically the fantasy Guardians of the Galaxy. The movie excelled at crafting a story that makes you feel like you're playing a session of D&D with a party. This might be the surprise of the year. Since you're here watching, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe for more videos. As someone who doesn't know a ton about D&D lore-wise, and has only played a couple of sessions with friends, I was so relieved at how accessible the world building is in Honor Among Thieves. It's organic, never forced, but rewards hardcore fans. I am lower than a filthy casual when it comes to that lore, but I know about certain characters, locations, and kingdoms thanks to trying several of the video games over the years. I can also say that from what I know of D&D and pop culture in my limited sessions, that the movie excelled at crafting a story that makes you feel like you're playing a session of D&D with a party. So with that moderate novice knowledge I have, I enjoyed these Easter eggs and aspects so much. I can only imagine how cool it must feel for big time hardcore players and fans. For those that aren't, closer to my side, it's basically the fantasy Guardians of the Galaxy. And while it borrows heavily from the MCU in many areas, particularly the tone, that's not to its detriment. Yes, there's a lot of humor and wit, but it's never cringe. It's not always funny either, as it doesn't all land, but I was never annoyed or cringed. I smiled, I chuckled, sometimes it was a light acknowledgement of something humorous, but that humor never overstays its welcome and knows when to dial it back for the more serious moments with levity. I was very pleased to see that as a lot of films in these style don't know when to quit. And the film really shines at how much heart it has. There's a strong emotional core and you really buy the character relationships for the most part, due to intelligent writing and fantastic performances. Chris Pine is always great and always likable. He's your lovable goof here. But I was especially impressed with Justice Smith. The guy is just good and likable in everything he's in. Michelle Rodriguez plays her typical role she excels at with a bit more pathos than anyone really could expect. Unfortunately, the weak link is Sophia Lillis among the ensemble. She plays her character very straight-laced and honestly a bit wooden, which is a shame as she was great in the It movies. And while that probably boils down to writing, directing, and editing, I'm not left with much of an impression outside of her abilities, which are including some of the best action sequences in the movie. But she's seriously underutilized, underdeveloped, and just kind of there, and would be ripe for exploration if there's ever a sequel, which I hope there is one. The two main villains are your balance of greedy and goofy, and maliciously violent. This is fine, but also another area the film just isn't interested in exploring more of. Something I've seen in other reviews that I really like that I'm going to borrow from is the term nothing burger. And the villains are that. They're a bit of a nothing burger to service the plot, even if I found myself wanting more. Nothing inherently wrong with how they're portrayed. Sometimes evil can be evil and that's that. That's fine. But it does feel like much of their material was cut that would have fleshed out what they are more so. But probably my favorite character here is, I'm gonna say his name wrong, Regé Jean Page, Regé Jean Page. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that as Zank Yendar. I think that's how you said it. The trailer gave away far too much of his role, but he's hilarious, a perfect foil to Chris Pine, surprisingly warm, likable, and a certified warrior rock star. He's given great material, but ultimately and quite weirdly disappears from the movie, which made me sad because everything he does is with such conviction. He has some of the best action, lines, and humor. If they make a sequel, again, He's another one that needs a bigger role. As far as the plot goes, it's fun. The CGI is consistent, the world is visually rich, the lore feels expansive, and yet the story never feels bogged down by too much exposition. There may have been a couple of spots where I felt the pacing. Not everything needs to be a three hour film, and not everything should be a tight 90 minutes. But some different story choices and what to cut and what not to could have been made to help tighten that up a little bit and expand where it needed to be expanded. But remember, it's fun, really fun. I had a great time and sometimes that's all I need. And that's what movies ultimately are for. I will definitely be rewatching this in the future. Could even see it improving higher over time. I give Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves four out of five stars. Go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to ring that bell to be notified of when I'm uploading videos anytime and remember, always look for the good.